It's only your love or something But why does it feel like it's true or something? We just vibe and we just crazy, baby What's up, YouTube? It's Curly Lisa Victoria. I'm back with another video. If you're new to my channel, thanks for tuning in. If you've already been subscribed, thanks for coming back, sis. I know you can now see all of the mess in the background as well as the mess beside me. Welcome to me getting rid of things. So I know it's been looking a little clustered, I give you guys that, okay? So, I'm supposed to have been cleaning up over the last like days and everything like that. And I have been. It's just been slowly, it's been gradually. And even though that looks like, oh my gosh, why you have all that piled up in the back? It's because I'm actually sectioning things off and going through things. So, I know you've seen that whole shebang over there look like that for the last like couple weeks. Excuse me, it's because I'm doing a little bit every day. Um,. I'm actually literally going through stuff, getting ready to post them on my Poshmark account, getting ready to post them on Mercari. Um, so if you're, if you always look at my closet and you think, oh my goodness, I need that out of Sis's closet, then you're not going to want to miss when I start posting um, all of the things from my closet that are going to be on sale. There are a lot of revamping taking place as it relates to my personal businesses from my books I've written to my cosmetic line, to my babe with locks, to everything, rich girls plans, everything that I'm doing literally is being worked on daily. And though you might not see the Instagram progress, it is progressing behind the scenes. So please understand that if you're interested in my brands, they are being worked on, but I'm actually taking these next few months to actually revamp the behind the scenes as you guys know i run the books i run everything as it relates to my business i don't have a team doing it for me i'm running my own businesses as far as real estate sis if you guys are interested in real estate you are always always know hit me up i'm definitely able to help you it doesn't matter where you live i'm able to help you um and for the people who have hit me up who are looking to move you guys know I got you um what else so basically this video is just like an update of my life what's going on i literally went to dollar tree i was supposed to be doing a dollar tree haul for y'all today but guess what sis take a guess please somebody in the audience just take a guess yeah dollar tree didn't have enough people to work the register so you know what i did i had to put everything back there's a guy who made a chair he made a seat out of like three boxes in the store sat on the boxes i'm thinking he works for the company and he's like restocking and he goes uh excuse me and i said and he goes i'm in line i said okay you know like okay why are you telling me this he goes i'm before you i said forget this crap and i put all my stuff back and i left i mean this man looked like he bought the whole dollar tree and wanted me to wait in the line after him and i only had like three things in my hand i said what kind of no good heart are you to not like if i have a million things when i grocery shop or whatever and there's somebody behind me with one to three things or one to two things maybe even five things i'm like you know what go ahead of me and if they say no then i'll go but if they say thank you so much no problem you got one two three things in your hand i'm gonna let you go before me but making me wait 20 minutes for them to ring out all thousand and then it wasn't like he had big stuff it's like everything was like so small Half the stuff didn't even look like you can even fit a scan, like a bar on there, like a code bar. So they're going to have to manually type. I'll put everything back. I said, forget this. Dollar Tree is my store, but that downside is they never have enough workers at the registers. Always one person or two people. And I'm just like, so why don't you just remove the registers? Anybody work at Dollar Tree, please tell me why do they have all those registers and it's always one or two people up front. And sometimes it's not even that. You got to find the person working. Please, somebody tell me. So anyway, that was my scoop from there. I did go to Dollar General. I bought some tissue, which I left in the car. Dollar General has some, I think it, I forget which brand it is. It's in my car. But I always get it. It's one of those well-known brands. But for like eight bucks, you get 12 rolls. And the rolls like will go for days. So I picked some tissue up because I have like, 
I think two rolls left or two and a half rolls of tissue in the bathroom. And I never want to be in a situation where you go and you're like, crap, I don't have any tissue. Because, sis, I'm not trying to use paper towels. Tissue is tissue. Paper towels are paper towels. Texture. Moving forward. So I did drop by Dollar General to do that. Um, What else? Yeah, so I'm going to be, I've already slowly started cleaning the bathroom. Um, you guys know I clean up every week. So when I say I'm cleaning, don't think like, oh my gosh, she's a hoarder. She's a packer. I'm not. Only reason you see all of this mess in the background is because when I deep clean, I take everything out. I figure out what needs to be trashed, what needs to be given away, what do I need to keep. And once I discover that, I will start putting things in sections. I do like my jeans and stuff last me for years i wear my jeans like i get quality jeans i buy quality and like for example i have a boot it's somewhere around here i think it's in my room i have a pair of boots that i wore the other day to work that people were just like oh your boots are so cute thank you but sis the truth is when i went to college 2011 i literally was in the mall, I went shopping with my aunt, my sisters and everything like that. We were in the malls and you know, my family has good fashion sense. Um, so we literally was in the mall and I'm picking out boots and I'm just like, oh, these boots, you know, $200, dollars mm -hmm. Mind you, I feel like if something's quality, I'm gonna keep it over time. I went to college, I graduated high school 2011, started summer school 2011 of college, graduated college 2013 or whatever from undergrad, had the boots still, graduated with my master's, have the boots still. We are going into 2020 and I still have those boots and they still look good. The only thing is one of my boots have a rip and I have to go take it to a repair. It's a small rip and I want him to stitch it up. But the point I'm trying to make is when quality goes a long way. We're talking about 2011. It's about to be nine years and I still have all of them. Like, I think it's two or three good pair that I had got. I know went through the snow, came out the snow and made it to the sunny days and I made it to the rainy days and I still had them boots. It was like, I think it was two pair. Yeah, I think it was two pair that I had that literally carried me. And I probably have pictures of being in those boots back in the day. So I still have them nine years later and I still have the boots and I'm still going to keep the boots because quality um same thing for my jeans so as far as items like those I keep but if I have stuff like t-shirt vibes that I'm just like okay this one looks too worn this one looks too rusty too ready to go like it just needs to go then I will clear out my closet but as far as my pants like I have a pair of quality pair of pants that I bought that literally have been with me for a few years and they're starting to rip on the inside. And I'm like, until I get this exact jean again, I can't get rid of them. I don't care how faded they look, how ripped they look, how quality. Um, so yeah, when I'm going through my stuff, I think in terms of that. But for stuff that I'm just like, I got this, this was cute, but this was not the highest, the highest of quality. Mainly in shirts you find that shirts you want to rotate more often than I want to rotate my bottoms so I'm just like I'll throw them on posh if it's too like beyond the mark I will give it away um so yeah I've been cleaning I've been doing all of that I do a little bit every day so that's why it also looks like a lot is not done I do not overwork myself I go to the gym today was an off day because I deserved it and because I've been working really hard so today is an off day I have work to do I'm actually going to be making a video allowing you guys to work with me. Um, but I got work to do. Um, didn't go to the gym today, but I've been drinking my water. I've been on my healthy ish. However, I do have a sweet tea from Duncan. And it was filled all the way up to here with ice. And just a FYI, even though the drink is sweet, it's not as sweet because my ice will melt down and it will give it more of a Swedish slash unsweet drink. That's a trick for people who don't want too much sugar, get a lot of ice. And also, I either want a lot of ice or I want no ice. Really crazy, but that's a fact about me. I think I'm going to do a video answering assumptions about me. And then I'm also going to make a video um, about um, 
um, things, daily interactions I get about myself, my race, um, questions I've got that were weird, questions I've got that were said to be kind of like, what? I'm going to do a video like that. Um, but yeah, so today I'm actually going to be, um, my bathroom will be clean entirely. I've already started clearing it out, but it will be clean. Nothing under the sinks. Like I've already given away hair products that I can't use anymore because I've locked my hair. I literally have been going through the work. So every day I just do a little at a time. Um, today I'll be working on finding some properties for some individuals. And then I'm also going to be working on studying for my LSAT because I just found out from the library there's people in line for my books. Um, and then after, you know, I turn my books in, I'm probably going to go buy my own LSAT book because I have to take the test in January. Unless I change the date, I should be taking it then. So I'm going to get off of this video and I'm going to go ahead and start working on today's task. Make sure you guys like, comment, share, subscribe, but that's just a general update on what's going on in my life today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for coming back to my channel. I love each and every one of you and to more, video, to more videos. We're going to have so much more content in the new year. We're going to have better content. And I keep speaking the new year because I'm going to be speaking so much into existence and watching it manifest. Um, but I've already been, been putting in work, but I'm going hard. Consistency, consistency, consistency is key. So thank you all so much for tuning in. And until next time, I'll see you beautiful people in the next video. It's only gonna be so